Okay guys, so we're over at uh, the tractor supply. We got some tools that I've never seen before. We got the grease gun from the wall. Very comfortable. Try to be very quiet here. As you can see. They even got the flex vault. 300. Even cheaper, but still. Not bad. We got a lot of the vault here. I guess if you're in the country, you know. Even an in Ingersoll ran $109. Not bad though. They got porter cable here. So you can at least get porter cable over at uh, the tractor supply. Not much here though. Thirty-five bucks. Not bad. You got some Ignis Rand. Eighty gallon, sixty gallon compressors. Over here. Oh, you got some gun saves here. I guess they're selling out now, it looks like. Everybody's worried about personal protection, especially along the island. Um, not much. Just some clearance, but it's like random. Some canoes and stuff, just in case you gotta get off the island. Got the porter cable. KP Porter Bolt Cutter, $59.99. Get some tape measures and stuff. That, I could use these actually for my toolbox. Maybe I'll buy those for 10 bucks before I leave. You know, nothing crazy. You know, it's like Job Smart. Their brand. Take a walk around. Get some. Oh, I get some Simpson Honda pressure washers. Those are really good. Five ninety nine. And up and down. I mean. We got some Champion generators here still. Oh, they even got some uh, stick welders. And that's what I was thinking about. That's where you want to start. Or even wire feed. <laughs> I have no idea. Hats for welding. Sussling torch. Just rebar and stuff. I won't go down the aisle with the nuts and stuff, but you can do that. I got some wheels for your wheelbarrows. Nice casters. Different types. And you get some tractor trim truck paint and enamel. You go. Make everything look nice. A two for seven for the spray paint. Eh, not too bad. You know, some br ten ninety nine for some brushes. You got some ramps here. Actually, she got my ramps here. I think it was uh, this guy right here. Actually, it was this one. He arched. I got... I was in a pinch. I had to do a, a house. My ramps broke, but I got the mower into the back of my truck. And then I couldn't get it out. If I got it out, you know, I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to get back in, so... I'll buy some truck ramps here. We got some lights. I would say get some lights here. Sooner or later. You're gonna need lights. It might kill your battery, but just in case they'll you won't need to light up a whole area. 
We got some come alongs and kinds of crazy stuff. Come alongs and cable pullers and pulleys. Oh, I got gear lube out the wazoo. Funnels. Good country music too. I love country music. Well, the new stuff at least. A lot of diesel stuff here. Nothing, you know, crazy. And then you got uh, the work trucks. Also, this is a, whatchamacallit, uh, a tractor supply version. Look at this. You can get like some tough boxes and all this. $2.99 for your trucks. That way everything is good. You lock, leave everything in your truck and leave it there. Oh, you even got like nozzles for gas. Get a whole gallon, you know, not gallon. Like, drums and you'd be all good. Get tires for tractors and stuff like that. Not tractors, but you know, trailers. Batteries, battery starters. I'll just show you some birds and then we'll go outside and we'll like, uh, Look stuff around. Yeah, most of this is like really country stuff, you know. You got feed, calf feed, bowls for calves, and all this stuff. Whole corn. You're gonna. Have dogs and cat not cats but like cattle, ducks, birds here. You have oil filters. Wow. I don't know what half the stuff is, but it's pretty cool. Be able to go in and be like, hey, hey. This is more for like a <laughs> look at this. Don't want to be like that guy, but this isn't like for pumps and stuff. I've seen it. Let's take a look around. Short video this time, guys. Some stuff outside, but and they also have a uh, a dog cleaning area in here, right there. The pet wash. You can bring your pets in and wash them. Alfalfa oat for horses. Might be going to that soon. The whole thing goes crazy. Yeah, it's mostly like coarse feed back here and everything for dogs and stuff. And if you don't, if you want to start thinking about it. You got chickens. Now we have eggs every day at least. Prices is marked, guys. Five ninety nine. A piece socket. Mostly roundup and stuff. Crescent wrench set for eighty dollars. Looks like it's only uh, three eighths. Oh, you have a half inch. Not bad. Got some gloves. Stuff under. All right, let's go down here. This is like the outdoor area. We got some machetes. You guys might want to think about that soon. Got uh, pitchforks and all this stuff. Oh, they got even Cub Cadet here. Troy Bill, Cub Cadet, Toro. 
And then brush cutters. That's pretty cool. Wish there were prices, but no, it doesn't look that bad. And even got the sod. Look at this lawn seed. Kentucky blue. Old fescue, 74, 60 bucks, not bad. Yeah. And of course you got the whole landscaper mix and everything. Toro, full season premium treatments and filters and everything. Pretty cool. The other thing cool about this place is you just look at like all the work wear. You got some cowboy boots. Got all jeans and everything. You got a cowboy hat. You got a nice Stetson. Yeehaw, bro. That's a nice jacket. 64. Cowboy girl. boots for the girls. No, oh, not much. $16.99. Dollar soda. Ridge cut. This might get close for ten bucks. Chainsaws are like gone. You got Poland Pro and Husqvarna. Go with a Husky. You got all everything down here. Blades. They're pretty cool. All right, guys. I go. I'm gonna go outside. But outside mostly is feed and shit. Cedar bedding, dogs, all of them, keep them warm at night. I need to get stuff for dogs here. Yeah, look at that. Get stable stuff, spot sprayers, all kinds of stuff. Bedding and all this stuff. Alright guys, I don't think you guys are in too interested in this, but it got everything. Alright. Stop here, and then uh, I'll meet you outside after I get my stuff. All right, guys, I just found this actually just walking around, but Flexzilla, I have no, I've seen their tubes and everything, but I've never seen this. They have a lithium ion grease gun. You get two lithium ion batteries, two nineteen ninety nine on sale here at your uh, tractor supply. Push to release barrel, slide barrel out to reload, deliver 7,000 PSI, hose dock, secure and manage hose, non-slip pads, ergonomic design, hopefully you don't suck this off like, that was just the corona guys, yeah, I'm just trying to see like, batteries and stuff, like what amp, is it like one and a half? Two chargers, four way coupler, one hour quick charge. That's all your information there. And they also have a 12 volt. Those look like NICAD. I'd probably go with this. So that's 119 or 100 bucks more. You know, you got a lot more stuff done. And you can also get the lever action grease gun for $24.99. From Workforce Pro. Not bad. Alright. See you outside. A lot of weird people coming out. I'm one of them though, but it's fine. So you can get a Cub Cadet for $15.99, $18.99, $99. <laughs> Let's see. 
Oh, you do get two metal. Yeah, it's not bad actually out the Harbor Freight because you get old metal transmissions. Usually when they che they usually cheap out there. You got another Cub Cadet here. Not too bad with the Kohler. I'd go with, and these are Kohler too. This one's with the uh, V-Twin from Toro. Not bad. You got this guy here, $14.99. Let's see the prices. So, almost $4,000 for the new 54-inch Toro, but it has the Meyer Ride suspension. It kind of has what the Skag has. There's a spring, and you can make it uh, tighter or looser depending on. Yep, right here. Speed control. Actually, that's the speed control. But you can tighten it up. Oh, I guess this is it over here. So you can tighten the suspension depending on your terrain. So higher or lower. So a stiffer suspension would be for a more lighter terrain and a a looser suspension be, I guess, for a tighter, uh, for rocky terrain. That way, the suspension takes more of the bumps than you. You got the bad boy here for thirty-four ninety-nine. They're both fifty-four inch, and I believe they're fabricated. That one's a fabricated deck. Let's see if this is it. And this is a fabricated deck too, guys. Wow, Toro is really stepping things up. I would probably go with the Toro for that price. And then you got the uh, Cup Cadet here for $39.99. You got the payments here, so for this guy, for $115 a month for 36 months, I'd go with this. You can get a lot of work done, 54 inch. I mean, it might not be as thick as like a commercial grade deck, but it's gonna be better than those stamp decks. But again, you can stamp those out and the fabricated decks sometimes. This guy's got something. So, you know, I get some more bedding out here, premium pine shavings for your, all your animals and needs. Let me just stick around and look at the, uh, we got the, uh, you got round work here. Not too bad. And you can hook it up to your tractor and all that. You're gonna dump one here for what, $179.99? Not bad. I can use that on my, my tractor for the mulch and stuff. Let's take a look at the trailers and then uh, we'll call it a quits here. Oh wow, look at this. You can even get these huge uh, attachments for your, like your, uh, I'm trying to think, the uh, Bobcats here. Or your, your other tractors. If you have big land and everything like that. That's awesome. I had no clue they had this. And then you have different uh, trailers here. A, a 750. Not bad for the mesh. How much for the... Yeah, nine, 950 for the one with the wood flooring. Which I would probably spend the extra 200 for. Eh, yeah. 50 50. I mean, it depends on how much wood is now. I'm not, I don't know that, but if I didn't feel like putting it down and using the time to cut the boards and everything like that to uh, length, and it's a time saver for you, I think I'd go with the uh, the pine. I mean, it's going to last, it still has a mesh flooring underneath, but it's going to last longer. And again, you got more. So it seems like they only sell two types of trailers, and 749 and 949. Let you guys know. All right, guys. That was my walk around of Tractor Supply. Please like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. First time looking around. We try to do as many of these uh, walk arounds as much as possible right now. I'm trying to just get out of the house as much as possible too. Uh, and uh, that's what we're looking forward to. Hopefully, I can get some uh, reviews in soon. Just gotta finish those. Um, Hit the, uh, that bell notification to get all my new uh, videos coming up. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Just trying to think if I already said that. If I haven't, there you go. Just repeating myself like a loon. And as always, keep on trucking, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.